If you do not follow Team Midladder on Twitch, then Juan the Horse will enter your house. Hello everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today, we're going to be talking about Venti, everyone's favourite Archon. Or we shouldn't really be saying that because Venti is definitely not everyone's favourite Archon. So, today we're talking about the 2.6 patch and whether Venti is truly viable in this state. I'm just going to take my volume up because it's almost inaudible. So, first off, I have my Venti with Skyward Heart, Animal Damage Bonus Goblet, EM Sands, and a Crit Rate Hat because I like him to do a bit more damage than some other Ventis. Got him 266 talents because he's only level 70 right now, and you can see the stats on the screen here. So, why do I talk about Venti's viability? Well, that's because of this man, Kaidahara Katsuhini, or Kazuha, if you're a Satan person. Now I'm running Kazuha with Freedom Spawn, and four piece Emblems of a Fate, and three Energy Recharge, Elements of Mastery, and Elements of Mastery. And he is absolutely busted. Kaidahara Kazuha is so busted, in fact, that I wasn't con that I wasn't actually considering building Venti again until he got a rerun in 2.6. So, why is this important? Because Kazuha has power crept Venti. If we check their passives here, Kazuha has his Soman Swordsmanship passive, which he deals an initial 200% of attack of the absorbed airman type as damage and Poetics of Fubutsu, which is absolutely busted, because for every single point of elemental mastery, he will, he will add a 0.04% elemental damage bonus to an element absorbed by Swirl. Now that is so busted, in fact, that my Katsuba currently has 600 elemental mastery, because I need it. And that augments about 20% Elemental damage bonus every single time he swirls for eight seconds. Now with Venti, he doesn't have any of those features. Although Swirl was in fact buffed, I have to have the Viridescent Venom a four piece on him for him to really be truly shining, shining star. I probably should put Stringless on him, but that's currently on Diana right now, and uh, Diana's been made here, so she currently needs a tad bit of damage. So, I thought maybe we could do a damage test to work out whether Kazuha or Venti is better. Now I'll just have to go to the Regis van, and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Alrighty, we are now outside the big flower. I brought in four team members to augment Kazuha's damage, and we're going to go in, and we're going to see how it pans out. Although, to be honest, I probably don't have the energy generation, but... I'm only bringing Ben into all, so you can apply a pyro, pyro for swell. Rain outlines your fate. Huh? Come on. Oh, there we go. All right. So, if we just use Zinchou, and now we see Castle of Swell. You can see that it is pretty busted. Time to go. We can get Castle's burst. As one with wind and cloud. You can see. They did about 1,200 damage, DOT. That is pretty hefty amounts of damage. Now, if we use Venice Burst, that is even more damage. 4,200 damage. Now, that isn't really impressive, considering that I don't build DPS Kaihara Kosovo's on the regular. But, there's a big, big but. We all know that Kaihara Kazuma is pretty cool. So now, let's leave this area and have a look at Venti. Alright everyone, I'm now here with everyone's favorite windy boy, Ventus. Now, let's go do his damage test. So as you can see, I do not have the burst to start off with, but some of them have pretty high energy. 
Rain outlines your In face. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Corella broken. Alright, that's some swell. So you did 3,000 damage, you no crit. This is already doing some really good damage to stuff. Oh, you bet it. You see, it didn't do very much because there's a Corolla had returned. Time to act. But oh, I just charge up the interest burst again. Shake it after. Right, Here we go. Slow. <laughs> Time for takeoff. Rain cutter. So full hydro again. You see that even though brace yourself, and he still does incredible damage, regardless. So here we go. What does that mean for our damage test? Well, we just have to go back to Monster. So everyone, we're back in Monster. So after analyzing the damage tests, we can conclude that even though my venti does more damage than Kasuha. Kasuga definitely has more consistent DPS and better overall application. So in short, Kasuga is still a better version of Venti. Not to mean that Venti is bad in essence, but Kasuga does seem to triumph over him in some, or if not most, areas. That doesn't mean that Venti isn't successful as a character though. He's very very good for crowd control, as crowd control is a lot easier to obtain compared to casting her simply because his burst generates incredibly fast and Carl's main power control is on a 10 second cooldown so i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one and now Fenty's going to shoot arrows at the sky